Hello. Today we will search for Waldo using the mask and mouse callback functions in OpenCV. In this part, we will write the code necessary to open the image. I already created the Waldo folder in my working directory. Inside I have a Python file named Waldo and another folder named input where I have find Waldo image. Check the video description for useful links and more info. In GitHub, you will find all used files and a full code. For coding, I'm using PyCharm IDE. I also created a virtual environment for this project. Okay, let's move to the code. For this project we'll be using two libraries OpenCV and NumPy, so make sure to install them before starting to code. We will start by importing NumPy as NP for short and OpenCV. Next, let's open our image. For that let's create an image variable and assign it to cv2.imread. In brackets write image destination and image name with extension. imread function just reads the image, we need another function to open it. Let's write cv2.imshow and in brackets, we write window name and image input. We also need to add two more lines to make the image window open and close when the escape button is pressed. We write the if statement, where we write cv2.wait key and in brackets 0 to keep the image window open, and 0xff equal to 27. When the escape key is pressed close the window, cv2.destroy all windows. Now we can run the code and see the image. We can also move this image window. Okay, let's close it and go to the next part. We want that whole image would be covered in black color and only a circle around the mouse pointer would be clear. And when we move our mouse that circle would move with it. So first we need to create a mask that will be active in real time. For that, we need to put our code in a while loop to run continuously. Let's add while true and offset if statement. Destroy all window line we leave as it is. In if statement we add a break. So our image window will stay open until we press the escape button. When we do that, we break the while loop and close the window. Next, we create a mask. We create it in the same while loop. For that, we will use the NumPy library. Let's create a mask variable and assign it to np.zeros and in brackets, we add an image.shape square brackets colon 2 and dtype equal to uint 8. Image.shape square brackets colon 2 return image height and width. So all image is filled with zeros or black color. Next, we want to have a circled hole in that black mask to see the image behind it. Let's write cv2.circle and in brackets, we define image, mask, x and y coordinates, circles radius, color, here we add any number because we need a hole and hole doesn't have a color, and thickness minus 1. Minus 1 will draw a full circle. Next, we need a function to cut a hole in black image and see the image behind. Let's see OpenCV documentation. Here we have bitwise underscore and function, which computes the bitwise conjunction of the two arrays. We will need to define the first input array, second input array, and optional operation mask. Let's add a mask variable and assign it to cv2. Dot bitwise underscore and, and in brackets, we add image and image and mask equal to mask. What's left is to move im show line to the while loop, and change the image to mask. Now we can run the code. Okay, we have a circled cutout at our defined coordinates. What's left to do is to make this cutout move as the mouse pointer moves. To track mouse pointer we need a function. If we open OpenCV documentation we will find that there is a set mouse callback function, which sets mouse handler for the specified window. We just need to define the name of the window and callback function for mouse events. Let's go back to the code. We write cv2.setMouseCallback and in brackets, we add the name of the window, image and a function. Let's name it search underscore window. This function will grab the coordinates of the mouse pointer. Also, we will make it run only when we press and hold the left mouse button. For that, we will need to create three events. First, when we press the left mouse button mouse coordinates tracking starts. Second, tracking coordinates continue only after the left mouse button is pressed. And third, when the left mouse button is released we tracking mouse coordinates stops. We need to create this function outside the while loop. Let's move up in code and add the search underscore window function name. In OpenCV documentation, we can see what the mouse callback function looks like. So it's a callback function for mouse events. And it has five parameters, event, x and y coordinates, flags, and user data. Let's check mouse event types. We will need the first one, mouse move, the second one, left mouse button is pressed, 
and this one, left mouse button is released. Let's go back to our code. We add parameters to our function. We will be using just the first three, but the function to run needs all to be defined. Next, let's add global variables, point x, point y, and search. We will assign mouse x and y coordinates to point x and point y variables and search variable we will use as boolean operator to indicate when we start and stop searching or tracking the mouse coordinates. Let's add starting variable values outside the function. For search let's add false and for point x and point y none and none. Okay, we can go back to our function and add events. We will use if statements. The first event will be the mouse left button pressed. If event equal to cv2. Event l button down search equal to true. So we start tracking the mouse pointer's coordinates. We add point x and point y equal to x and y coordinates. The second event will be mouse pointer moves. l if event equal to cv2. Event mouse move, and if search is equal to true, meaning that left mouse button is pressed, point x and point y equal to x and y coordinates. And the third event will be the left mouse button released. L if event equal to cv2. Event l button up, search equal to false. What's left is to change the circle's coordinates to point x and point y. We have almost done. Before running the code, let's change the window to full screen. For that, we will create a named window and set window properties. In OpenCV documentation, we can check flags for a named window. We will use window normal. It lets the user resize the window and also switch to a full screen window. This is exactly what we need. And here is the window full screen flag, which changes the window to full screen. What else we will need is a flag for set window properties. We will use the first one. Okay, let's go back to the code. We write cv2.named window and in brackets, we add window name image and cv2.window normal. Next, we set window properties. cv2.set window property and in brackets we add the same image name, cv2.wnd. Prop full screen and cv2.window full screen. And that's it. We can run the code and search for Waldo. Hope you like this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. You will find the code in the video description. If you like this video, please leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more Python videos.